Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Digital Dorsey. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about D B DSPs, <laughs> easy for me to say, uh, DSPs, D Digital Signal Processors, uh, specifically one that uh, we are carrying the uh, Wolf Wave by Soda Beams. The nice thing about this little uh, digital signal processor, it will work with any radio. It plugs into your headphone or your external speaker jack and then into a sec external speaker. And if you have a transceiver that doesn't have a uh, fancy DSP, uh, this is a great option for you to look into. Uh, not only does it do um, excuse me, noise reduction. It also does bandpass filtering. It also has a hearing loss function as we get older and uh, uh, our hearing starts to degrade a little bit, especially on the uh, upper side of uh, the frequencies. Uh, this actually has the ability to increase those frequencies a little to give you a better uh, receive uh, on the uh, on your uh, on your radio. Uh, it also they just announced uh, Soda Beams just announced the uh, Wolf Wave also now supports CW decoding. So there is a firmware update, which I haven't actually done on this one yet, but I plan on doing it here shortly. Uh, that will actually give you CW decode. So we can uh, use that now as a decoder. As far as power source goes, it uh, is very flexible. You can use a standard uh, 3.5 millimeter barrel type plug for 12 volts and it'll take 12 volts. Or if you have one of these little battery banks for like a cell phone or something, a five volt battery bank, it will take five volts as well. So very flexible, very portable. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the battery bank in. We're gonna see Okay, the wolf wave is going to come up. I took a nice ride today. Um, so you have a, a volume hot. control you can use. And I hope I'm picking this up but, well. Uh, I have a microphone on the speaker. I think I rode about 11 but, miles. Uh, Pretty nice so, ride. Well, and let's, let's, on, we'll start here. changing the, the, the width a little bit here. Cool and you can see, yeah, as we, okay I brought the width way up. And you can hear all the noise and stuff in the background. Now we're going to... Make it a little bit shorter here. I'm sorry, WW9. And you can see we can actually, you know, make it very, very narrow band. For if you're doing like CW or something like that, you can really narrow the bandwidth down. Um, but you were working on a 101 or something so there on the bench. Um, this is or basically uh, full bandwidth, but you can make it sound much better Romeo Alpha Charlie, w and just dropping the bandwidth a little bit. Rich. Now as and far as the menu options go, you have Western several Indiana. options. There is the bandpass filter option, there's the noise reduction, there's a CW region option, the hearing loss option. Well, I got off the motorcycle. And, uh, um, I'll bring up, I'll bring up the noise reduction here. Riding, um, and we'll turn the noise reduction on, 1962. and you'll see how much noise has now been bicycle, removed uh, from the system. The bicycle, I might have to turn 14, the width up a little bit. Miles a year. And, um, I've been riding as much, so I've been trying to get back on it. So that's what the noise a reduction is on. Right? over in and I'll go ahead and turn the noise reduction back off. Used to travel over there, um, so there's the noise reduction off. So uh, very nice DSP. A lot of really full features on it for such a small little device. And again, uh, the CW decoding now they, that they have uh, included in the firmware. It's just a firmware update. You can go to the Wolfware site and uh, actually update the firmware to get the CW decoding as well. So with that, that's all I have this week. And uh, if you have any questions, please send them to DX Engineering at dxengineering.com or to Digital Dorsey at dxengineering.com. We'd love to have your questions and uh, like to get back to you. Uh, and thanks again for watching. Until next week, 73.